Wow, I sure do love the ocean view. Same here Andy. This is also the best time to go to Andrewville Swarmer Shore because it is not very crowded in the mornings. Look at those boats Jed. I know, they are really cool. Check out those waves Rory. Oh, I see one. Can I feel them with my feet? Sure, why not? And take your shoes off first. All right. Wow, I'm surprised the water is warm. Really? Yep, it is. And do you want to try it too, Beatrice? No, I'm okay. All right then. Andy, come with me so that both of us will explore. Okay, sure. must have gotten motion sickness. What? Oh, it's just nothing Andy, let's keep going. Hey Gloria, are you done putting your feet into the water? Well, yes, since I have been standing here for a few minutes. Okay, now, wash your feet in the washroom before putting your shoes back on. I'm on it Mike. Hey Jed, are we able to make a sandcastle later on? Yes, we can because why not? Me and you will make a large sandcastle together. Just me and you. What about Mike? Yes? Oh, Jed asked if you can join me and him to build a large sandcastle. I am not really sure about this since I never built a sandcastle before. Do not worry, you can watch us do what we do, and then you can try it. Oh, Gloria, you're back. So, what are we doing now? Me, Mike and Skye are planning to build a large sandcastle. Wow, building a sandcastle sounds fun. Come on, let's find some tools in Mike's car to make our sandcastle. Check it out, a lifeguard. I'm surprised he is on duty at this time around. And, what is he looking at? I am not sure, but I suggest we should get his attention. By what? Watch this. What the? Who made that whistle? Wow, you have a whistle? That's right. Coach Freddy from our third period class gave it to me as a prize for winning a PE game last month. That sounds good. Well, I guess I should go down to see who made the whistle. So, can I help the both of you with something? Hmm, not really. Just wanted to ask are you active in the early morning? Well, I am, usually towards the evening. I wake up at around 5 a.m. to go to my lifeguard tower and search for dangers like I did earlier. What kind of dangers do you search for? Let's say... Tides. Beachgoers love to go swimming in the beach, but there can sometimes be high tides which make the water deeper as a result. When the water gets deeper, the shore gets covered up, and whenever a beachgoer ends up sinking into the water, either me or the other nearest lifeguards go there to rescue. It seems like you are a hard-working lifeguard. And what is your name? My name is Samuel Cisneros, and I was born to parents who came from Guatemala. Guatemala. That sounds like a great country to travel to. Yep, that's right. And what are your names? I'm Beatrice, also known as Trixie or Trix for short, and behind me is my boyfriend Andy. It's very nice to meet the both of you, and do you have any others that are visiting here? We do, 
but they are in different parts of the beach. Okay, and do you both want to come inside my tower? Sure, why not? Great choice. Follow me upstairs so you two can sit inside. Well, we looked everywhere in my car, and it looks like we never brought any shovels. Did we ever use any? I highly doubt that. And Jed and Sky, can the both of you look for somebody with shovels so you guys can borrow them? What? Why would we do that? We do not have shovels of our own, so we need to look for somebody that has shovels. Okay then, and we will be right back Mike. Is there anybody out here who has shovels? Well, I have no idea. We would have to ask random people. Hey, excuse me, do you have any shovels we can borrow? Shovels? Yes, that's right, and do you have some that we can borrow? I'm sorry, but I do not have any. It's alright, and do you know somebody we can ask that has shovels? You should ask Dennis, since he is a digger. Okay, and where is he at? He is digging up something on Swarmer Shore. Swarmer Shore, you say? We are going back there now, and thanks for telling us where Dennis is. No problem, and have a good day. Let's head back to the beach so we can find Dennis. So, have you both been to this beach before? For me, I went to Swarmer Shore many times before. I have went before too, although not very often. Okay, and Beatrice, since you went to Swarmer Shore a lot, what do you usually do when going here? Um... The activities I normally do in the beach are sitting on the sand and putting my feet in the water, much like my best friend Gloria. I also swim in the ocean, though not as much. Those activities sound interesting, and what about you, Andy? For me, I do not do much, other than the fact that I once made sandcastles when I was younger. Sandcastles? That is a very popular activity to do in the beach. Yep, it is indeed, though I never made one. Do you think your other friends are making sandcastles? I am not sure, but I think they are making them. Do you think that's Dennis? It should be him, since the guy told us that he is digging here. Hey, I am sorry to bother you, but are you Dennis? Yes, I am. Why, do you need something? Yes, do you have any shovels for me and my friends to borrow? As a matter of fact, I do. What brings you here? We were told by another guy to find you after he explained that he does not have any shovels. I assume you both have talked to my childhood friend Leonard, who now works as a handyman. By the way, I got a bunch of shovels on the back of my truck, and it looks like I do not use some of them anymore. Would you two like to come with me to get the shovels? Sure, why not? Okay, let's go. So, are you two Mike and Gloria? That's right, we both are. And... Would you like to see us build a large sandcastle later? Yes, I would like to see you guys do that. And, where are the rest of your friends? Jed and Sky are looking for shovels to borrow from somebody so that we can use them to make the sandcastle. Okay, and is there anything else you all might do here? Well, not really. This is all we can do for this time around. The shovels are here. That's great that you both found some shovels. And where did the two of you get them? We were asked by a man to find a digger named Dennis, who had me and Jed borrow his shovels. Dennis does seem to be a nice guy, and are you both ready to make the big sand castle? Yes, we both are ready. We all are going to build the sand castle now. Alright, enjoy building it. Are you excited to see the sand castle later on? Of course I am, because it is going to look great. Are the two of you ready to make the sandcastle? 
Yes, we are. All right, let's do this. It looks like the pile of sand is being made. That's good, and we will eventually modify it so that we can finish our sandcastle. What should we put on our sandcastle? We can simply put a flag on top of its roof. Check it out Sky, the pile is getting bigger. I know, and as soon as it gets big enough, we will modify it. So Samuel, is that your surfboard behind you? Um, actually no, it belongs to my friend, Devin, who not only works as a lifeguard like I do, but is also a talented surfer. Surfing sounds awesome, and is he on duty? No, not right now. He only does his lifeguard job in the weekdays, unlike me, who is able to work in both weekdays and weekends. Weekends you say? That's right, but my time to be on duty in the weekends is shorter than in the weekdays. On top of that, I go back home at 4.30 in the afternoon, as opposed to 7 o'clock in the evening. Huh, when you leave at 7 o'clock during the weekdays, what happens? After I leave, another lifeguard, who I do not know well, takes my spot, and he watches for beachgoers who attempt to swim in the cold waters during the evenings, which closes after 6.45 p.m. However, the beach grounds are still open until 10 o'clock in the night. Now, on the topic of Devon, how well does he do surfing? Oh boy, he does surfing so well, that he has potential to take part in a surfing contest. That's cool, and are you also in your weekend schedule? Yes, I am currently in that schedule right now, and the other lifeguard may spend longer times in this tower when he is ready to do his job. Also, do you want to come with me and Andy to see the rest of our friends making the sand castle? Of course I would like to. Okay, let's go. There, the flag is placed. Now our sandcastle is completed. Nice, now let's have another look. Finally, after more than five minutes, this sandcastle is completed. And we designed it well, all thanks to my skills from my art class. So Jed, what do you think? The sandcastle looks very good. And this has got to be Gloria's first time making model art outside of her art class. Wow, it sure is a long walk from my tower. Hey, the sandcastle is finished. I did not expect it to be completed that fast, but it looks cool. That's right, it was somewhat easy to build. It was easy you say? It was because of my art skills from my art class. Oh, you go to an art class? That's correct. I do attend one, and I have became good at making the art there ever since. I do attend that same art class too, though me and Gloria do not go there in the same period. Hey, you guys have a good looking sandcastle here. Thanks a lot, and we used the shovels that we borrowed from you to dig up the sand to make our sandcastle. I have a feeling that you guys can have those shovels now, since they are old and I already have gotten new ones recently. Plus, you should make the sandcastle as an attraction for people to stop by and take pictures of it. So, will you and the other lifeguards make this sandcastle as a new attraction for Swarmer Shore? Well, we can, because why not? Wow, thanks a lot, Samuel. And Dennis, the lifeguard agrees to have this sandcastle as a new attraction for Swarmer Shore. That's exactly what I suggested. Also, you guys have a wonderful day, and I hope your sandcastle gets popular. Thanks, and you too. Are the both of you and the rest of your friends staying here until the beachgoers arrive to see the sandcastle? Sure, why not? Look how many people are liking our sandcastle. They sure do like the design indeed. Hey Samuel, can we get our buckets and the shovels now? 
We are going home pretty soon. Sure, go ahead and have a great day. You too. Hey, it's Mrs. Kenworth taking pictures of our sandcastle. That's very surprising. You know Samuel, it was very nice for all of us to meet you. It's very nice to meet you all too, and are you all leaving? Me and Jed will be staying a bit though, because I saw my teacher within the crowd. Really? Which one is it? Were you referring to me? Yes, it was the girl with the blue hair. Hey, I know her. It's Sky, a student from my first period class. Sky, I did not know you are at this beach too. Was it you who made this sandcastle? Not only me, but my friends as well. That's really cool. I do love the sandcastle that you all made. Thanks a lot, Mrs. Kenworth. It's no problem, Sky. We are all going now, so have a great day, Samuel. Thanks, and hope you all have a good day as well. Goodbye, Mrs. Kenworth. I'll see you in school, Sky. That's all, folks. This is the end of this episode. Alright, beachgoers, this sandcastle now serves as an attraction for Swarmer Shore.